Yes, yeah, you do. Who? Mrs. M. Hoff, Vice President of the United States, who goes by her maiden name. Miss Kamala? Uh, Camilla Harris. <laughs> She's got two Jewish children she adopted. She married a Jewish husband who's got a interesting. I'm scared to talk about Kamala Harris. I'm gonna let you have that one. No, uh, she's a witch and she is a corrupt witch. She's been corrupt her whole life and she fucked her way to the top. Oh, Lord. They used to detail this witch in the LA Times with her sexual escapades. She mm. fucked him near everybody trying to get up. She used to be a frat hoe when she was at Howard. And she ain't black. You know, I ain't got to do with this, Miss Harris. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, well, don't, nah, but she's a. Uh, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just listening. Well, uh, here's the thing I actually met her father mm -hmm. in Jamaica. I was the guest set at the governor general's table, and he was a professor. Okay. And he represents as a Hindu Brahmin. He admittedly has some Irish in him. Mm -hmm. All right. The person that Camilla Harris is saying is her black great grandmother is, in fact, according to daddy in an article he wrote, which has now been cleaned up on the online edition of that magazine, mm -hmm. was a Hindu house servant, not mm -hmm. a black woman. So her mother is listed on her birth certificate as Caucasian, even though she's dark. But see, she's a Hindu Brahmin Tamil caste. Now, interestingly, do you know what the anthropological name is for what uh, Camilla Harris and her parents are? Mm -mm. No, sir. Indo, I-N-D-O hyphen Aryan. See, they are the original Aryans. But Adolf Hitler and his boys told a big lie. The blonde-haired, blue-eyed Aryans from the far north did not exist, never existed. They were the dark to swarthy to paper bag brown, dark-eyed, dark, coarse-haired Indo-Aryans from the India, mm. from India. Mm -hmm. Those actually settled Germany, and some other people came in from the steppes that lightened everything up a bit. Mm -hmm. So that lie is being told. So you get the Aryan Brotherhood, the Aryan Nation. What's going on is the Aryans, they claim to be uh, one with, look like Cum Queen La or Cum Queen Harris. You know, I guess what she did is, you know, L.A. Times ranked her out. I was out in L.A., you know, when she was really I haven't ranked. seen this article. But before that, see, she got out and they ran a thing that when she went to law school, Willie Brown, that was his mistress. They used to have guards. I heard about that. Though. Where they had one I loved. It was a scene, Willie Brown sitting behind a desk with his tongue hang out and Camilla is raising up after doing him, you know. Mm. And uh, they ran this thing where he got her a job with a medical supply company that did business with the city of San Francisco. He got mm -hmm. her a gig for 15 hours a week. Mm -hmm. For seventy two thousand a year, and you have to understand that was thirty five years ago. Mm. And then when they carried the thing where she moved up to twenty hours a week, she getting paid one hundred and twenty grand for a part time gig, and he bought her mm -hmm. a seven fifty i BMW. Mm -hmm. She was earning that. So <laughs> then she had this thing where she was trying to get on with this big firm they wouldn't hire, so she started screwing one of your buddies an NBA player who was their biggest client. So she wow. got hired. So then they ran a scandal sheet on her where she was trying to get on with the DA's office. So she started screwing the deputy chief DA to get on. So. So what, what, what do you see? I mean, you have a lot of knowledge. As you can see, you got the chat going crazy. You have knowledge that span back 30, 40 years. So what do you 50, see? 50 years. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> I so graduated what you, from college more than a half century ago, so it's that's been crazy. a while. That's crazy. So do you see it getting worse with the media propaganda, or do you see yeah, things? It is. Okay. Yeah, it is. So you think what, it's getting worse? What happens is you've got some jack-booted, goof-stepping fascists who 
strong arm and take over the government. Then uh-huh. they take over the press, mm-hmm. impose censorship, and they propagandize to stay in power. Mm-hmm. You had some pink panty wearing fascists who, instead of goose stepping, they switched and twitched. They took over the media, propagandized the people. Now they took over the taken over the government, and they are attempting to gut the Bill of Rights so they can impose censorship on you. Like 